Welcome. My name is Patrick Campbell, and I'm a Senior Technical Marketing Consultant for TrueSight Operations Management at BMC Software. In this video, you'll see a quick overview of how to get started with IT Data Analytics 2.0. You typically start on our Support Central website to verify system requirements and then download the installation package. The directory of files looks like this. Navigate to Disk 1, then right-click the setup.exe file, and then run as administrator. The installation wizard begins. Select a typical installation and agree to the terms of the license. And then install. You can then log in with the default username and password, admin admin. With TrueSight IT Data Analytics 2.0, you can immediately see the default collection of metrics in action. We see the sum of the events and the sum of the bytes indexed. Here we see the number of collectors we have configured. Right now it's just one. Let's take a quick peek at this default collector and then we'll create one of our own. Click Administration and then Data Collectors. Select the collector and then edit. We can see the local machine name auto-populated for the name of this collector and collection station. In this case, Patrick PC. We see a path to the log files for IT data analytics, a file name rollover pattern, and we use the built-in pattern for ITDA metrics. All right, now let's create a new one. For example, let's say we want to monitor the Windows Update feature on our computer. We click the Add button here. We'll give it a name, Windows Update. Just to have a look, we could be monitoring any one of the following ways, including local events, uploading a file, or through TCP UDP. We specify the directory path, in this case just Windows, and a file name rollover pattern. In this case, it's Windows Update as the name of the file. But say, for example, you wanted to read in all the files with the log extension in a certain directory. You would specify star.log. Now click Auto Detect and let IT Data Analytics try to detect the type of content in the log file. If the content is not readily known by IT Data Analytics, Try the free text without timestamp data pattern and then click preview. Make sure that the data looks correct and then click apply pattern. Then click create and we've successfully created a data collector. Both our default data collector and the one we just created are up and running and in good status. We see our total data collected and two collectors now in our top five. Double click here to get more details. Now double click the Windows Update bar. Here we see our timestamped Windows Update events. We can select the time period with the most events visually. In this case, 5 at 5 a.m. in the morning. Most of us know how Windows Update can always be running and checking up on things on your computer. Now we see the five events here. Here we can choose different views of the data such as the minimal view or the detailed view which you can use to add to filter on specific sections of the log files. We appreciate your time watching this video to see how easy it is to get started using IT Data Analytics 2.0. Thanks!